I'm Miss Molly from the Springville Road Library. Um, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about some of the pets I keep at my house since we can't be at the library to do grub down anymore. Um, so I wanted to tell you about um, my pet tortoise named Magellan. He is a Russian tortoise. Here he is. Say hi Magellan. So he's a Russian tortoise. He lives at my house. I actually have two of them, but his brother is asleep right now, so I, I haven't gotten him out. Now, um, I want to tell you a few things about Russian tortoises. They come um, not only from Russia, but they are also native to the Middle East and parts of Asia. So, um, unlike turtles, I know y'all have seen turtles like swimming in ponds around here, um, you know, basking in the sun, sitting on a log. Now, Russian tortoises are kind of related to them, but one big difference is that they can't swim at all. Um, they're really bad at swimming. They do like to soak in things like mud puddles, but they don't like to swim. So um, these guys are really, um, really only land animals. So you can tell that they, uh, they don't have the webbed feet like a turtle would have. And you can see he has really long fingernails and nails on his back legs because he's really good at digging in the ground. So these guys are really good at digging holes. So, and that makes them really good escape artists. If you have one out in your yard, then it's probably gonna get away from you because it can dig really well. Now, um, Russian tortoises um, are herbivores, and that means that they don't eat any meat at all or any animal products. They only eat, um, these guys only eat vegetables. They don't even eat fruit that hurts their tummies. So vegetables are their favorite foods. Um, and a treat that I like to give them that's one of their favorite things to eat are um, dandelions and rose petals and violets and all kinds of different flowers. They love to eat those. And they like to just eat regular leaves from my yard. Just, they don't eat every single thing that grows in your yard, but a lot of the things that just grow outside, they like to eat. Now tortoises like Magellan here, they have really long lifespans. I don't know how old he is actually. When I adopted him, he was already a grown up. So he could be anywhere from about, you know, 10 years old to 50 or 60 years old. There's really no way to tell. So um, they're really interesting because they can live for a very long time. So um, you could have adopt a, tor a tortoise and you could have it the rest of your life if you take really good care of it. So um, they're really neat in that regard because they're, they have a really long lifespan. They're really tough if, as long as you take really good care of them. Now, one really interesting thing about tortoises is that they were one of the very first animals in the whole world before people to go into space. They were the first astronauts. So they actually orbited the earth and the moon before people did back in 1968. Um, and they made a safe trip. There was a pair of Russian tortoises went to space and they, um, they came back safely without having any harm done to them. So they were, they were really um, paving the way for science back when they tried that out for us. Uh, both of my tortoises, um, they're boys and they don't like to live together. So um, if you do ever consider getting one for a pet, um, remember it doesn't need a friend. You don't need to worry about getting it a friend to live with it. Um, they really like to be alone more than anything else. Now you can tell the difference between boys and girls by looking at their tails. Now, it's hard to tell with Magellan because his tail is going straight down, but there's kind of a little spike on the end. And that is one indication that it's a boy. And when he walks, his tail goes off to the side. So boys' tails, they curl over to one side or the other. They're a little bit longer than girls' tails. And um, girls' tails stay straight ahead when they walk. So I'll get you um, a video of Magellan walking so you can kind of look at his tail and see how he walks. Um, we're going to try and post something else about another animal next week. So if you have any questions, um, just leave it in the comments um, and I'll try to come back and answer it if I can. Um, and if you have anything you want to say, um, just let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. We miss you at the library. Um, so yeah, we'll see you next week. You guys stay safe. Bye.